already watched the first part this is part two of my q a um i'm doing it as a meg bang and i like i said in my first part i still have a lot of food so this is why kind of everything is half eaten half not eaten um so i will be doing the next part of the next question i should present myself because if you haven't watched part one you might not know who i am my name is mariana um, i'm 22 years old and i love food that's most of what my part one is about just me loving food and saying how much i love food and fitness so yeah, part two is, I guess, going to be more like random questions. Um, I'm about to make my hands. Okay. So, um, next question was... Um, so the products that I really like to use on my face are Nivea. Mm, I've tried other products like Kiehl's. And... My face is kind of, I'm not going to win, my face kind of like reacts properly to a bunch of products but I feel like when I try to try different ones that are fancy ones like a little bit as heels, it just doesn't cooperate and especially, I talked about it in one of my videos, um, my fat fit bun it kind of like gave me a bunch of pimples especially like in summer because my hair is uh, my hair my face gets a bit oily during summer so it was hydrating too much and it would kind of give me a um, reaction so it's really good for me during winter because i get really dry and here we have snow so it's really cold but uh like a usual my go-to is really nivea and i love there's two things i realize people don't use when they do skincare and I honestly don't get it. For me, it's something that I grew up using because my mom really takes care of her face and everything and there's products that she always uses. So for me, it's just normal. But first, toner. Like who, like I don't get it. For me, it's, I've always used toner. It's just a normal thing. It just cleans your face. It just makes you feel good. It's just like refreshing after your shower. So I thought everybody used toner. And then just cream, normal cream. Um, hydrating cream it's like those two if I don't have those two in my like morning routine my day will not be the same and obviously in the shower like um, scrub or just something to wash your face is a must if you don't have like if I don't have it I'll be able to go a few days without it like just really washing my face for example with like soap like normal soap at some point I'll need it just to make myself feel better because I'm so used to taking care of myself or my face and everything else. Um, I don't, that's a lot. I do have a few foods that I really like. I, like that's what I try to go towards is when I want to eat healthy fruits and vegetables like cucumbers, carrots and things like that. But for fruits, I really like strawberries and grapes. Like I put um, bananas in this because it was made with bananas, but oh, and watermelon. Oh my God, I can't believe I almost forgot watermelon. Watermelon, like if you make a watermelon juice, it just, oh wait, it makes it feel better anytime. But I guess we're not talking about juices, we're just talking about itself. I would say watermelon, grapes, and strawberries. I kind of have a eek with strawberries sometimes. It's like they're too sour and I won't want to eat them. But grapes, whatever they are, I don't eat it. And I feel like you can never really go wrong with watermelon. I guess I'll learn that the hard way when I'll live by myself because now I live with my parents and my dad really knows how to like choose watermelon. But um, yeah, it's always so good and it's always like, it's juicy and it just tastes good. It's refreshing. Like, that's what I want in fruit, to be refreshing. And, you know what I mean? Is it just me? I don't know. I hate saying that, is it just me? Because I know it's not just me. But do you guys, like, does it happen to you too? Write in the comments because I just want to know who else looks for that type of taste for me. Things like that. I'm going to try this. As I said in my previous video, I don't know if you guys uh, follow Noemi Lasta from Montreal. But she like did this in her um, stories and everybody has been doing them and I really wanted to try it. I kind of let it melt a little bit wrong. It's supposed to be like 
frozen, but it's really good. It's kind of eating fondue, but like cold. Yeah, I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm shy in one sense, but when it comes to food, I love the way I need to look. I'm enjoying it so much. me I'm not really used to getting complimented like usually my mom and my sister would always tell me like oh you're so pretty but other people I'm not really used to it so like when people tell me something I'm just like you're so sweet thank you <laughs> so, yeah, that's the emoji that I would go towards um if not another emoji that I use a lot just because I'm really crazy it's this one just because it describes so much just like <laughs> I don't know, like, that's not necessarily how I mean it, but it's just, like, laughing, but at the same time being crazy, at the same time being funny, and that's a bit how I am, forever. That's a bit how I am, just kind of funky and not really caring a lot about things, just living life, you know, daily life. <laughs> Shout out Mustafa. This is why I fucking look like a potato. And if I'm a fry, I'm a snack. So I'm good with it. <laughs> so, um, next question. What is your favorite cheat meal? That is the hardest question I think I've ever been asked. Because I love food too much. It's like asking me what's my favorite food, you know? I'm like, I don't really have cheat meals because I don't really diet. I just can't, like, I don't have to eat too much, it's like, I'm always eating, like, even, and that's one of the reasons why I train, because I love eating so much, like, that's all I do. If you want to hang out with me, let's go for food. If you want to bring me on a date, let's go for food. If you want me to love you, let's go for food. It's like, or bring it to me, like, just give me food and I'll be happy, you know, like, if you want to give me a gift, just give me, a, like, a fresh farm card. I will be so happy like that means the world to me. So honestly, if you'd ask me what I would usually go to for it when I cheat meal, because I don't cheat meal. Um, I love sushis. But like, do sushi count as cheat meal? Because it's kind of like, you can see it as healthy. It has like vegetables in it. It has healthy rice, you know. So I try to count it as like a healthy meal, <laughs> even if it's not necessarily. Like, that's also one of the reasons why I don't like having cheat meals because for me it's like I don't like to specify my food. I just enjoy eating everything and being happy about it. And then that's why I'll go train to like lose any fat that accumulated. I think you guys are now focused. I'm <laughs> focused. I'll be focused. You're shining <laughs> bright like a diamond. <laughs> Shine bright. <laughs> so, I was saying, okay. So if we go towards like what foods I like to eat. So, I really like, I wouldn't say, okay, I'm gonna eat a salad. Like I do really love salads, but if I'm in that type of like mood, if I'm PMSing or something, I'm not gonna eat a salad. Trust me, people are like, oh, how do you always eat so healthy? Where? <laughs> like, please tell me because I don't know. I don't know when you're talking about. I don't know. Let's go back to the point. 
So if I'm really going somewhere, I want to eat something, either sushi, burgers, I love burgers. I don't really like McDonald's, McDonald's burgers anymore really because it makes my stomach ache. But I really like the ones from Wendy's or Harvey's or a and w I haven't eaten in a while just because of the quarantine. No, I, that, I think that's one of the first things that I'm going to be doing. I know that I can go get some, but those workers are already working so hard and I'm also having to go to work and it's a hassle. Like people don't realize how much it is of a hassle. Everybody's like, oh, well, you guys are essential workers. You're not, I'm pretty much you're not that busy because no one's going to see you. Well, that's the thing. Everybody else that is working is going to those places to be able to get food and everybody that isn't working is reaching my type of workplace to try to like have arrangements on their payments so we're freaking busy um back to the point so burgers sushi um fries pizza i think those are pretty much the the one i do also really like tacos tacos are good yeah, i think those like yeah, that's what I would aim for towards. Like, if you ask me, let's go somewhere. If you ask me, let's go somewhere, I'm pretty much going to tell you I don't know, I don't mind, because I eat everything. I'm kind of like any type of girl. My boyfriend is always getting mad at me, and I'm always like, you choose, I'm gonna be happy with it. And he's like, I don't care, just choose what you want. Yeah, I just love food too much. So yeah, and that's, that's pretty much the answer. I just love food, and I can't decide what I want. One that I'm really good at is French because I grew up talking French, speaking French, speaking French. I spoke Spanish first, like that's the first language I know. So Sp Spanish, English, and French. I spoke Spanish first, but I came to Canada when I was four years old, and my parents would talk to me in Spanish in, at the house, but. We didn't, like, I, I never had classes, you know, actual classes that I would teach me, like, how to write words or how to say words specifically or what words mean specifically. It was just, you learn as you go, you know? But even then, my Spanish is really good. I don't really have a choice because my grandparents that are in Venezuela, they only speak Spanish. So if I want to be able to talk to them, I have to speak Spanish. My grandparents are here too. And I have some family in the States, but they speak English, so it's fine. Then I learned French in high school, uh, elementary school and high school. And I used to hate English, like English movies, it would scare me so much because I wouldn't understand it. So I would hate it. But then uh, I had an English teacher in uh, secondary three. I don't know what it is for you guys, um, like in middle school. And she wouldn't talk to us one word other than English. It was like, she was mean. She was a really mean teacher, but I loved her so much. And she died when I was like by the end of my high school. But she's the one teacher that really taught me something. You know, you have, like you go to class and you're like, okay, let me just get through this class. I'm not really gonna remember this thing, these things. But that teacher, that's how I learned how to speak English. And I'm so grateful to her. She would literally take our binders and just throw them away because we wouldn't like try enough. She was really harsh, but that's what I like about her. She she didn't she wasn't scared of our opinion. She wasn't scared of what we would think of it because she knew that that's how we were gonna learn. You know, she we needed us we needed to like really be put on point and really be put between the lines to learn that English language. And she was like, I'm going to teach you whatever way I need to teach you, you know? So I love her so much for that. And so yeah, so that's, and then I went to university in English. Well, CGEP is kind of what we have in between um, elementary, uh, high school and uh, university. I did that one in, in English. And then I tried to do university in English, but I didn't feel as comfortable. I'm not shy about my English. I used to be really shy with my English because I wasn't good at it, and like I was scared that people would laugh at me, but now I'm just, I don't care anymore about what people say about me, honestly. And like people have told me, who know like since, uh, who know me since before, and they keep telling me your English keeps getting better, you know? So 
might as well just practice it that's how we get better at things at practicing so that's why i really wanted to do my videos in english because since i'm doing university in french and my work is kind of french english i still get to practice but at home we only talk in spanish or with my brother and sister in french most of the time and with my boyfriend in french so it's just i feel like that's it, that's one of the parts in my life that i get to practice my english and not lose it so yeah that's why i don't really care if people laugh at me because i'm doing like that's one of the things that i'm really doing it for me you know because it's helping me practice and i feel like i can reach more people that way too um i did want to do some videos in french for like my French speakers, but most of the people that I know who talk speak French um, know English, so they can still watch my videos. But hey, I'm from Montreal, so I gotta represent, you know. Um, last question. So honestly, I don't like I love TV shows, but I wouldn't say that one represents specifically my life, like one of my needs. I would say friends would represent me in the past because I would always just go to my friend's place and we would hang out with my boyfriend and just chill, eat, talk shit, just enjoy life. Um, but yeah, there's not one that would describe me specifically because, for example, I love friends, um, I love Grey's Anatomy, but I'm obviously not a doctor. Um, so their lifestyle doesn't match with me. Um, what else? I love Full House. That was such a cute show. I like the vintage ones kind of thing. Um, I love The Office. Um, there's so many. I've watched so many, like, with especially with my boyfriend. <laughs> That's like one of the things that we do the most. Like right now we're watching Casa de Babel. Um, but we're just always changing it over, so I can't remember all of them right now. But yeah, we do watch a lot of, uh, of TV. That, that's my go-to when I finish a day and I'm just tired. I'll just watch TV to change my, my mind because my days are really, usually really busy. I wake up, I, I go to the gym, then I try to study, then I go to work, then I come back, when I don't study. So then I just want to have my head off everything, so that's why I'll watch. But guys, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram story. I found this YouTuber and it's like, it's the most random thing ever. But it, he has an oasis and he has like his YouTube is about his animals and his tigers and love with his channel. Like you would have thought that I would enjoy a fitness like channel or like a makeup channel, but I don't really get to spend that much time on YouTube because I have so many things to do most of the time. So I, I like to do something that has nothing to do with my daily lifestyle and that's why I love him so much just because it's so different, you know, it's nothing that you would necessarily see on the streets or like a fucking tiger, you know, and I love animals, I love being in nature and the way he treats them, it's so cute. I'll put it uh, down below. His name is Dean Schneider. He has an Instagram too. You should really follow it and it's not just like animals, you know, it's he, he doesn't let any visitors go in his place and his oasis, it's huge because he's really doing it for the animals he wants to help the animals he wants to be there for the animals he wants to build a friendship with them so it's really him and like his relationship with them and it's so cute um so yeah and i just love it he, he's just so nice he just like takes care of them as if like it's really his family if we can say in a sense and he teaches a lot of things about life too you know how we're sorry how we're so sometimes ungrateful for the things that we have when we have so much you know there's people that have nothing there's animals that get killed all the time there's so many other things out there so just because you don't have the fanciest bag or you don't have the fanciest car people just complain and they're like oh my god my life is over i have no meaning in my life like are you kidding me you have so much in life you have a house you have not necessarily a house if you have an apartment you have somewhere to live in you know if you have a, a bed we take a bed so much for granted like i've seen so many people having to sleep on the floor because they're kind of like moving one one place to another they can't find a house they can't have a place they can't find a place to live in so they're just kind of sleeping there you know and it's just that's where they sleep and even then they're so grateful because at least they have a shelter they don't they're not just sleeping in the streets with like a little blanket and a pillow so we're so ungrateful for what we have and we really shouldn't be because 
you know, it's just, it's just crazy. I've, I've heard things and I've seen things and we really should be more happy about what we have and I get it to be sad. You know, I've been sad in my life, but I realize that, like, you know, what's the point? I only get one life, so might as well just make the best out of it, you know, just, just live. Just feel like, I'll do a whole other video about it, just about my experiences and things like that if you want to know like specific things uh, if it's more health related or just emotionally related relationship related family related just let me know <laughs> I have things to tell about those um, but yeah, I'll just do another video about it so hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to like subscribe comment I'll put my social medias down there let me know what else you would like to see again like I said last week I'm gonna be doing fitness on one day and I'll try to do kind of like random videos a little bit like this one on Wednesdays uh, right now I'm still somewhat busy because of school so I'm really doing my best to put content out there but I realized how much I enjoy creating content I'm not the type of person that will necessarily post every day but it's still here bits and there it's just I enjoy it it just makes me feel good it makes me feel happy and if you guys enjoy it that's the whole point too, is just for us to build a community and just feel good about ourselves. So love you guys, hope you enjoy it, bye!